What's up guys? What a hunt I have to show you guys today. I didn't do a whole lot of editing to this video, mainly because I didn't, I didn't get a whole lot of, I didn't get a whole lot, Jesse. I didn't, Jesse! Jesse! I didn't get a whole lot of footage on this hunt. I didn't feel good at the first part of the, uh, until the first part of the day, but once the relic started coming, coming out of the ground, I started feeling better. I got some, I got hydrated and everything. Um, I was I'm still, I was, at this point, I was still recovering from the, the cold that I had. But it's always a pleasure when I get to meet up with Bird Dog and Exploring Alabama to do a hunt. Exploring Alabama finds an item that I was really, I was really happy that he, I was there when he found it. Um, I think it was a first for him. And um, James, James is the person that kind of showed me the ropes with metal detecting. And guys, he digs probably the best item I, I've ever seen come out of the ground. And it was just an amazing, it was just an amazing hunt. And it, it was one of those hunts that, Jesse, it was just one of those, it was just one of those hunts that, I mean, that's what we do this for, you know, that that's what this hobby is all about. It's getting out with friends and just that excitement, that, that, that excitement of just pulling amazing items from the ground. And this is a hunt that I will, I won't, I won't forget. But, uh, but yes, I'm going to put a, a link in the description to Bird Dog and Exploring Alabama's channels. So uh, if you guys haven't already, go over there and check some of their videos out. Um, I enjoy their content. If you enjoy my content, I'm sure you'll enjoy their content. So yeah, go over there, check it out, and uh, spread the love around, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Like I said, I, this was just one that I couldn't sit on because it was just, it was just too good. It's too good to, to try to accumulate more footage to get a longer video out, you know? But anyways... I hope you enjoy it. Have a good day. Love you guys. All right, guys. Still out here with, uh, with everybody, and I just dug what I think is some Civil War lead. It's kind of hard to tell. This soil is really damp, and the patina is rubbing off, but it's looking like a fired Civil War bullet, maybe. You kind of see the cavity here but it hit something hard and I think it might have frag it might have fragmented or something but uh my dad texted me and said that Anita found her first uh her first Georgia bullet so I'm gonna try to get over to her soon and film that so I just made it to Anita they said you found something Ever Georgia bullet. Right on. You can't beat that, can you? Dropped. Second one ever in my life. Really? I couldn't even put it in my bag. Very little What is that? My first dropped in field. Look at that. My second ever, my first one. First Georgia lead. Oh, that's Confederate. beautiful. That's awesome. That is awesome. And I, I must have walked right over it too. Now, you, did you just dig that? Yeah, what is it? Are you kidding me? You dug a barber dime? Is that what it is? Oh, oh my God. God. I thought it was a. <laughs> Hello, exploring Alabama. Oh How my goodness. Right, let, nice me, let me see you. Are you awesome. kidding me, dude? Right. You just dug that? I'm yeah, the jug was deep. Do what? I'm from Huntsville. Oh, good. You, you traveled, didn't you? Mm hmm. You did too. I did travel. That is awesome right there. I don't, I'm not going to rub it anymore. Yeah, I've already rubbed it. I had to see what it was. See if you can get a date off that. It's 18-something. Is that your oldest coin to date? Uh, no, nah, that little Chinese coin I found in that ditch. Ah, oldest American coin. <laughs> yeah, Man, that, that is them. awesome, dude. Magnifiers. Let's dig some more. All right, I'm here with uh, the dog's dad, and he's got... Is that a piece of a uh, parrot. parrot? Yeah. Well, what did it read for you? What does it read? Well, what did it read? About 30. 30? There's another little fragment. Sweet. It I can't get on it, it today. Yeah, good job, man. Thank you. Now I gotta find one. James just called me and said that he just dug a whole shell. So, I'm going to go try to find him. He didn't give me no exact uh, 
directions to his whereabouts in this forest, but uh, I should be able to find him. That's freaking awesome. If it, if it is a whole shell, then it's definitely going to be the first time I've seen one come out of the ground in person. So, all right, well, I just walked around the mountain, come to find out he was uh, he's closer to where I was. My God, dude. Check it out. This is <laughs> awesome. I can't uh, define. Dude, that is freaking awesome. The first thing I found was the crap on this. Dude. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't think I'd ever find something like that. This is absolutely insane, guys. Absolutely insane. First time I've ever seen a whole one come out of the ground. We dug, we dug pieces oh, of one yeah, together. Yeah. But this yeah. is the first time I've ever seen one come out of the ground. Look at this. Look how big. Man, that thing is it was pointed down but it was like this right here look you can tell it was it was like this it'd been fired like or not fired i don't guess but they were, they were. were you getting any high chirps out of it yeah just a little bitty one every now and then but it was reading like it was like a iron signal but it was deep like i mean well at first it was like at the top of the ground it wasn't like really deep it was like a something laying on top of the ground sort of so i guess because it's so big <coughs> then when i started digging it started giving me a better signal but Heck, I kept going deeper and deeper, and my pinpointer was barely going off when I first did it, so I kept going deeper and deeper, and then I was pretty sure it was something. I, I thought it was just a big piece of fragment or something. I, I should have waited. Now, now, now you're going to have to get Bird Dog to find somebody to dang disarm this thing. <laughs> I know. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, you got a bomb. You got to have a bomb when you truck on the way home. This is so freaking awesome, man. I'm happy for James. Heck yeah, this is man. our first time ever finding a whole shell. I don't oh. know, does Bird Dog know yet? No, I don't. Oh I don't, my I don't God. Even have his number. <laughs> I'm going to take <laughs> a picture of this, me and James holding it, and I'm going to send it to him. And he's going to flip the. He's going to flip out. All right. I see a Bird Dog in the bushes. He's walking kind of fast. <laughs> well, we're to for, right? <laughs> Here, dude. I told you, boys. This is going to be a good spot. That makes me super happy. Dude, I told James, I have never had my ass this bad in a single day. Everybody has hey, found man. something except for me. But, dude, I, right. I, I cannot be happier, man. Everything everything went right. That's right. Everything's going right. Hey, this is his This is his first hole. This is his first entire one, man. Uh, that's a five billion holes in my life. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I just got the phone call. Here's my boy James. I told him it was going to be a good day. What do y'all think about that? Man, that's amazing. That is a Civil War artillery shell. It's a parrot shell, and this is exactly like the one that I found right down here. And this is why we came today, because I had a feeling there was going to be some more of these in here. Wow. This is an amazing My find. First, first one I've ever seen. First artillery uh, shell. First, oh, I found a fired one that was, you know, all the pieces just about it. Zach and I dug it. Pieces of it. I didn't think this day would get any better, but it did. That's awesome. Well, you know, there's probably a pile. Too deep. There's uh, there's more of these uh, in here. <laughs> yeah, you guys see how deep that is. That's uh. Two and a half feet deep. Me and me and Daddy have never been spanked so hard in our life. I'm telling you. That is an amazing but, day. What do you think about that, Anita? Never seen anything like that. I bring you all to a good spot or what? Man. Wow. Oh, you. Right here in the trail. You don't owe me nothing except more good memories, man. What's up, guys? We're doing a wrap up here. Um, Bird Dog brought us to one of his secret spots, and uh, we got to. We got to do some digging with uh, Exploring Alabama and Bird Dog's father. So, yeah, it's cold. Everybody's hungry. Anita's got a long drive, so I'm going to make this quicker. Right? We have a fuse that Bird Dog dug, some frags, uh, shell fragments. We have a mystery item. We don't know what this is. If anybody knows, let us know, and then we'll say thank you. Um, yeah, cool little wimmy diddle you grind smoke on. Uh, an old ranch. 
Anita, she done swapped her. Oh, you got yours over here. We'll bypass that for right now. Um, she dug her second uh, infield bullet and her first. This is her first Georgia bullet, so that was awesome. We're glad that she came. I dug a horseshoe, a little. Uh, Would you say a knapsack? Uh, D. D ring. D ring off the knapsack. Uh, dug an old knife. We're not sure about this, um, but I'm just. I'm gonna say it's Civil War. And James, I don't really want to talk about this, but I will, I guess. <laughs> a whole freaking shell. A whole shell, dude. Hold it up for the camera and smile with it. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. <laughs> but anyways, I'm upside down. Anyways, we're going to go um, get on the road, and I'm going to go eat some El Nepal because my wife went to El Nepal. You guys have a good night, okay?